the evangelist Rob here or Rob Woods Ministries, I want to prophesy, decree, and declare over you, you're going to make it. You're not going down. The devil's been telling these, some of these, de these demons have been telling some of you out there, Psst, you're going down. You're not going to make it. You're going to go down for the cat. Listen to me. You're never going down, man. You're not going down. Don't listen. Ignore. Press into the Lord. You're going to make it. You're not going down. You're going to make it to the end. You're going to finish strong. Hallelujah. Jesus is on your side. If Jesus is in your boat when the storms of life come, your boat will float. Praise the Lord. Now, before I continue, it would be an honor if you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. If you have any specific prayer requests, put them in the comments section below. They could be health, relational, or financial. Uh, you do not have to be specific. I am live 9 p.m. Eastern YouTube uh, every Monday. The chat's been exploding as people are requesting prayer or direction or the will of God. Man, I'm praying over people, prophesying over them, decreeing, declaring. And other people are agreeing in prayer as I'm praying. There's breakthroughs. People are back, in, back speaking in tongues. It's been quite powerful. But going back to this show, friends, you're going to make it. I'm thinking of David. David came to a place called Ziklag in the Bible. And you can read it for yourself. It's maybe in 1 Samuel or something. I don't know. You can find the book. Don't If I'm wrong, don't say you're wrong, Rob. And just, you know, get upset. Just say Google David Ziklag Bible. David came to Ziklag, and the enemy just, the place was wasted, man. The place was wrecked. I don't even think the livestock made it, and he was really despondent. And uh, he was give, he thought he was going down. He thought it was over. Down for the count. Done. And the Lord came to David, and he, he says, David, get to that prophet. I think his name was Abiathar. I'm not sure. Again, don't, don't quote me. I'm doing this by memory. I wing these shows sometimes. But they, the Bible says, first of all, and David encouraged himself in the Lord. You've got to learn how to encourage yourself in the Lord. You've got to reminisce and say, well, you know what? God did this for me in times past. I remember when I thought I was down three years ago or seven years or three months ago. Man, I thought, and, and, and Jesus, I, the Lord brought me through. He's going to bring you through. And then the prophet came to David and he says, hey, Dave, David says, what should I do here? Am I going to make it? I'm going down. It said, I think it says the people sought, sought to stone him. And they were going to kill, you know, they didn't want him to be the leader no more, him to be the leader. And the prophet says, David, you're going to pursue, overtake, and recover all. I'm prophesying this, so in about a minute, I want to prophetically pray this over you. But you're going to make it. You're not going down. Hallelujah. And David recovered all. Hallelujah. And, you know, the cool thing about re re restoration, because in Joel, it says the Lord will rest restore the years the canker worm and locusts have eaten. You know, those little locusts have those little chewing teeth. You can ask any farmer about that. They can do some damage. But the Lord not only brings restoration, he brings restitution and recompense. God's a restorer, my friend. I don't know how he does it. He does it. All things work together for the good for those that are called according to God's purpose. But let me read to you what restitution is. Restitution is the restoration of something lost or stolen to its proper owner or original state. Recompense is, well, I'll give you an example of recompense. And he was ordered to pay $6,000 in restitution. So God's going to restore, he's going to bring restoration, and he's going to bring recompense. Father, I'm asking you to strengthen my friends, give them a grace for the race, let them endure to the end. Let them, let them know this Christian walk is a walk, it's not a race. The race is not to the swift, but to the shore. Hallelujah. God's given some of you strength. I strengthen you in the name of Jesus. I breathe on you a new power, a new vitality. Let the glory and the anointing of the Lord excuse you, excuse me, come upon you in a fresh new way. I breathe and commission you in a fresh way in Jesus' mighty name. 
Praise the Lord if you made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. I'm raising up a cyber e church on YouTube. Man, it's been powerful. Again, 9 p.m. Eastern, New York live, YouTube live, Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. The Lord bless you. Amen.